Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Touch Base Tuesday. I'm Michael Cooper with Parkway Church in the beautiful city of Madison, Mississippi. I have been noticing some signs lately as I travel through the area of Madison and then even in different cities, and they just seem to be popping up all over. And those signs are saying, we are hiring, are hiring. And, and I thought, boy, it's, it's a tough thing. And I'm hearing it from people that they're having trouble of getting the labor force back to work. So I was in uh, the insurance office the other day and a lady was telling me about owners of a couple of pizza places that they were giving incentives that to be able to come to work. And it was several hundred dollars as a sign-on bonus that if they would come back to work, we'll give you this sign-on bonus. Of course, you realize that there's always conditions. Uh, and it is with the Word of God that I want to talk to you today. Is God has promised us a lot of things, but yet many people do not want to commit to working for the Lord because of all the things that God requires of them. But I want to talk to you from my heart today to let you know that the incentives are so great. The incentive is so great that He promises us, He promises us eternal life. I mean, that's a big one enough to be able to serve the Lord. But then while we're here on this earth, God gives us an incentive to live for Him. I looked that word up and it means a thing that motivates or encourages one to do something. I'm motivated to live for God. I look in the book of Joshua and God told him when he took control, he said, I want you to meditate upon the Word of God day and night. He said, then, he said, I will make your way prosperous and then, and then you will have good success. But first, he had to, there was conditions that God required of him. And so that's, that's what I, again, I want to just leave you this simple thought of God's incentives that he gives to us on a daily basis. There's another scripture. It says that the blessings of the Lord maketh one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. Paul realized that. He realized it. And Paul had an incentive. He had a motivation to serve God. 2 Timothy 4 and 8 says this, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. That is the incentive, is that we, that we love him, that we serve him, and that we have that eternal promise that we will be him. Now, what an incentive that looks, listen, listen to this in the book of Revelation. They said there will be no sorrow. There will be no, and I'm going to add this, there will be no sorrow. There will be no heartbreak. There will be no trouble in our life. There will be no crying there. What an incentive to want to go to heaven. I hope that, you, that this has been an inspiration to you, an incentive to you to live for God each and every day. God bless you and thank you for watching this episode of Touch Base Tuesday.